Well, it's been a while since I did an update. Actually, it's been a while since I've been working down here because I had other things to take up my time. But uh, in the last video, I talked about finishing out this wall and studding it out. So that's what I did. I basically just followed the contour of the wall, except for this one part here where I had to, I came out to catch this joist. So what I did was I put a a little kind of closet in there where my tables are gonna go. And um, I'm gonna try and hide this somehow with molding or something. Even if I can't completely hide it, it it'll still be all right, whether I stain it or paint the wood or something, but um, I just wanna keep that area, the store to tables. It just worked out so well for that purpose. So coming around, we're gonna have, the fridge is gonna go here. I don't know what's going to be in that space, whether it's another TV and a game system, or I, I might do the, the 3D virtual reality, something, something there, I'm not sure. Um, but continuing framed out under the steps, put the door in so that I could have access to the bottom of the steps. I'm probably going to patch off of this and run maybe a light in there on a pool chain or something. but. The wife really wanted this to be open as you're coming down the stairs. It was kind of just solid drywall on the inside and there was, I'd put particle board um, OSB on the outside just to hide it. So I took all that down and just followed. What I did was I actually had to add studs because I couldn't do anything with this section because of the light switch and I didn't want to move it and it works good there. So this is just going to be that wide drywall. This was a double, single, single. So I figured, all right, I'm gonna go three studs with everything so they'll all be uniform and then this will just be coated with drywall. So um, the spaces came out pretty close to being the same. This one's a little less, but these are both like 19 and a half. And of course, from here on, it'll be, it'll be completely covered, but I'm probably gonna do something with um, screwing in some two by fours here and then laying particle board on top that I'm going to rip, you know, the same width as the stud and then just, you know, drywall on top of that and up and, you know, taping it all in and making it all look nice. But, um, I really like the way this made it feel because when you come down the steps now, it just, it's so much brighter because it let in the light and it's just, it's such a nice feel because having the blind corner before it's like you almost had to like look around the corners and make sure you weren't going to run into somebody and now it's you know you can still you can see all the way over to where the pool table is so you'll be able to see people coming up and down you'll be able to see who's down here before you even get down so i really like how that came out and what we had to do is because this is where the wall ended and this is support so i couldn't completely take these out i had to leave them so I kind of just worked with, with what I had, you know, opening up this space. And um, so the next step is, you know, we got to get this all drywalled and finished. I got to do something to cover this back wall without totally, you know, hiding the pipes. I still want to have access to my pipes. Those are for my hot water heater for the vents. And then uh, something here. I'm probably going to take this off and uh, I don't know if I'm just going to do uh, drywall right onto the concrete or if I might have to have a barrier in between, maybe it's some slats. Uh, I, don't I don't know if you could put drywall right on concrete. I think it sucks the moisture out of it, so I don't think that would be such a great idea. But I'm um, definitely going to get rid of the foil because it it's got that UFO spaceship feel to it down here i just i don't want any of the foil to be showing but that's the progress to date i did have to like cut a little to get some of the wires in so i can drywall completely without having you know wires i still got to do something there and um you know there's just always stuff you got to work, work around that is already existing so you know it's just I just come down here and just think about it a little bit and usually I can come up with something but so that's that's the progress today and uh, 
I'll shoot another video when I get this all drywalled out and it's all nice and complete and painted and I can see the difference between before and after.